seemed like kind of a slow start for you guys, even though you were getting good shots and then finally yeah. got loose in the second half and a lot of ball movement in the second half. How, how did you think the offense looked? Yeah, I mean, I, I really, I thought we moved the ball really well in the in both halves. Um, we had some great shots in the first half that we didn't make. And, you know, fortunately, we made enough of them uh, throughout the entirety of the game um, to, you know, to win. You know, I, St. John's it plays very unconventionally. They play very hard. Uh, they make it hard to run offense with their ball pressure, their changing defenses, and their athleticism. Um, and so I was proud overall. You know, I thought our guys handled their pressure really well, except for when we got a double-figure lead. I thought our guys let our foot off the gas a little bit. And uh, you, you do that in this league, it's not good. It's not going to be good. But I'll tell you what, the Big East has scored with Mike Anderson. Uh, you know, I think he's a, a hell of a coach, and he's going to do a great job there. Those kids and studying them. I was very concerned about the game because of how hard they played. And they've been in every game in the Big East. It's been one or two possession games where it could have gone either way with maybe, you know, maybe one or two exceptions. You know, and they're talking about a team that beat West Virginia and Arizona. So, um, like I've said before, every win in the Big East is is like gold. So I was proud our guys were able to do that. Jace didn't have a field goal attempt till that dunk near the end, but he still had a big impact on the game by kicking out passes from the post and all the offensive rebounds. What has he added since he's been to your team since he's been playing here in the last couple of games? I'll tell you what, he's, Jace has been awesome. He's been awesome. And uh, the the extra effort hustle plays where he's getting offensive rebounds and making good decisions after uh, he gets them, uh, those offensive rebounds are worth more. And are, and it gives such a, a, a burst of energy uh, to our team. And uh, you know, a big part of how we've played recently has been Jace's play. And it's it's good to see him healthy and and he's contributing at a at a very high level. Yeah, you know, I mean, like he was out for a while. I mean, and and you know, big guys, knees and I mean those those things are that's not <laughs> in shape and all that kind of stuff. It's hard to miss time, especially when you're coming into a new situation. You know, it was like once he, he was actually playing really well when he got hurt. And then he was out for a significant amount of time. And now I think he's really, you know, and the, it, it's not just these three games. It was coming. It was coming, his play. And his play has been uh, so critical to the success that we've had recently. Three straight wins for you guys. What's impressed you most about how this group is coming together and handling success? Well, you know, again, you, you got to approach it one game at a time. And, um, uh, you know, the, these game, every game you play in the Big East is just an absolute uh, bloodbath. And uh, there's not only are there not nights off, it's every night you better be at your best and bring it for 40 minutes. For us to be able to do that in three straight games um, is terrific. However, momentum is fragile. And what you have to do is you have to take it one game at a time and the investment uh, in preparation and then investment come game time that allows you to be in a position to win the game. You have to, you have to make each and every game. And our guys are getting that much more than they did early, um, you know, early in the year. You talked about Kobe, you know, needing time to, after sitting out last year, another strong game today. Is it starting to feel like he's, he's, starting to find his groove a little bit? Yeah, I do. I, I think, um, you know, and it's easy to say that, you know, like he had two big threes. Um, you know, finding his groove, like Kobe's a really good player, and I'm glad he's making shots. But he can impact the game in other ways. I mean, the last game we played, he had nine assists and one turnover. Tonight he had nine rebounds. I mean, he and, he, and he's been one of our better defenders. So, you know, Kobe's – Kobe's playing well, and I think you'll just uh, continue to see him get get better and better. 
Uh, your free throw shooting has been a big factor the last few games. 26 made free throws tonight. How, is impor how important is it for your team to be able to close out wins with your free throw shooting? Well, it's, I mean, it's huge. And, you know, at the end of the game, when it's a one or two possession game and teams are fouling, um, you know, to have multiple guys you can get the ball to who more times than not will deliver when they're at the line um, is, is very important. We haven't talked about Sakari yet, another big game today. How has he kind of developed into that secondary scoring role? It's, you know, Sakari's more one of the more underrated players in, in uh, you know, in, in the Big East. And if he's underrated in the Big East, that means he's underrated nationally. Just Scar does whatever, you know, we ask him to do and has done whatever we've asked him to do to put his team in a position to win. And uh, uh, I just, I think the world of Sakari. Mike made a comment that he thought the team defended Marcus really well in the first half, and then he looked up and saw he had 19 points still. What, what does that say about Marcus and just the way that he's been scoring and the rate he's been doing it at? Yeah, I mean, he's, in, he's a natural born scorer. Uh, it, it's, uh, um, it's, pretty inc it's pretty incredible, you know, and, and uh, w what he's doing from a scoring standpoint. And, and sometimes I think it can get lost. You know, like you can you can start to assume or take for granted, not us <laughs> and not me, but you can just take for granted what you're saying. And what you're saying is historical. Thanks.